Morning, everyone. This is the beginning of my sixth week in Uganda. The last few weeks have been very busy and included the opportunity to visit many of our health facilities, meet influential stakeholders, and of course, I have had the opportunity to meet many of you. Thank you for your gracious welcome and your hospitality. I know that some of you are wondering, what's the new guy like? What will be different? What changes will he make and when? Many of you, of course, have heard from me on some of these questions, but many haven't. So let me start this by giving you a very quick answer to the who is this guy. I was a pilot for a few years, flying small aircraft around Central Australia. I'm a scuba diver, a motorbike rider. I enjoy hiking, outdoor activities, and generally anything dangerous. I have a 30-year-old married daughter and a granddaughter who's seven and a half, a grandson five and a half, and a brand new grandson five months old. I was a pastor with the Salvation Army for 23 years, pastoring seven churches and undertaking a number of different administrative roles in three different countries. Before joining World Vision in 2011 for eight years and then medical teams as country director in Tanzania in uh, February last year. I've been in the humanitarian development and aid industry since December 2004 when I supported the response to the Asian tsunami. And since then I've led emergency responses and managed humanitarian actions in over 15 countries including Mozambique, Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, Rwanda, Tanzania and Uganda. And now here I am back in Uganda and working with you for medical teams. If, you'd, if you were to ask those closest to me, I suspect that one thing they would say about me is that I don't settle for normal. I'm not satisfied with good enough. I'm determined that my life will count for something bigger than me. And I'm passionate about building relationships of trust. I am convinced that the, the sum of all our efforts, our experience, our time and our talents can and will achieve more than we can imagine. My life and my challenges have always been about daring to love and be like Jesus. So working with people who believe that they are called to dare to love like Jesus by boldly breaking barriers to health and restoring wholeness in a hurting world is for me a natural fit. It's because of this that I know that medical teams in Uganda and with you is where God wants me for now. And not just me. I believe that God brings to God's ministry every person and every resource that is needed to succeed in service for this time. Your responsibility and mine is to do our best to identify God's resources, understand God's purposes and get on board. I promise you that in my leadership I will seek to listen, to learn, to be selfless in my accountability to you, to those who are called to serve, to medical teams and to God. I will always try to be courageous and tenacious in my engagement with our stakeholders, our partners and our friends. I will do my best to make sure that in all we do that you never feel like you're alone. My vision for Medical Teams Uganda is that by working together, we will build on the work of all those that have gone before us and are alongside us now. And we will make medical teams not just the main provider of health services in the refugee context, but they will, that we will be the health and wholeness NGO of choice, the trusted partner for donors, for government, and for our staff. This is not a small 
or a simple task. But my prayer is that you will join me in this vision. And now I pray that God will disturb us when we are successful and as a result we lose our desire for excellence. I pray that God will disturb us when we give up too soon and we settle for less than the goals that God has set for our lives. I pray that God will disturb us when our dreams come true only because we dreamed too small. I pray that God will disturb us when the things we have gained cause us to lose our thirst for more of God. Amen.